Hey everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Herd. We're back with another watch list video. If it's your first time here and you find the content of value, hit subscribe if you want to get notifications for when we go live or post our watch list, tap the bell. And if you want to join the UVH fam, our community, links are below to the Discord along with our free options trading group. I'm going to get back into it. If you guys know, I did come off a pretty, <clears throat> a pretty big losing day, the biggest losing day that I've had the entire year. So going into tomorrow, really going to be playing it safe, taking our profits and really get back to being disciplined again. Like today, I let my losers run. I didn't take profits on my winners quick enough and end result, it, you know, I ended up losing over $600. But that doesn't mean you can't be red tomorrow. It doesn't mean you can't start fresh tomorrow. It doesn't mean you can't go in with a new game plan. First thing you need to realize is where your mistakes, and I think I realized the mistakes that I made today. So then tomorrow you can you can trade better. You can have a plan of attack. And tomorrow's game plan, relative going in relatively slow and trying to build that confidence up. You don't want to go in, put a thousand dollars or more on the table and lose 10, 20, 30 percent of that. You want to kind of go in slow. Start with a hundred dollar trade, two hundred dollar trade, and kind of work your way in a little bit and just kind of finesse it. So that's what I'll be looking at tomorrow. I'm gonna to be looking at good setups, staying disciplined, and looking at trades that I know that I can win and not and not trades that are potentially a gamble or I'm not sure that I could win or a trade that could go either way 50-50. I'm going to be looking for trades that with good setups um, don't cost a lot of money. And Thursday is my favorite trading day of the week. And the reason why I say that is I tend to make the most money on Thursdays. The premiums seem to be in a good spot versus the risk and reward. And you can kind of scale up your positions and make a little bit more money with your deltas. Um, that's why I like to day trade Thursdays. Um, so going into tomorrow, you know, obviously we're going to go in slow. Um, but kind of looking at the market and where things are at, you know, we had... We had a pretty big reversal today. You know, we're still below where we dropped. Looking at, at SPY yesterday, it was, was touching almost 300. And we dropped down to 295. And then today, you know, we went from like the 294, 295 area up to 298. So we didn't quite get it all back. Um, <clears throat> things were kind of crazy with the whole Trump impeachment thing. And really, tensions are really easing on that due to even if the House passes it, um, the impeachment is he's likely going to get acquitted in the Senate. So that means he's still going to be president for those that are rooting against him or whatever the case is. Um, you know, we just gotta, we just gotta take it a step at a time. Maybe, maybe there's more to the story. Like I was saying earlier, maybe like during the live stream, maybe, maybe there's more to the story than this whole Ukraine thing, but obviously we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. So right now the best thing is when you're up 20, 30%, take profits, redeploy, keep it moving, keep the gains coming in and, and, and maintaining profitability in your account. You don't want to just keep taking losses. I probably should have stepped away today when I took my you know third or fourth loss and just said, you know what, today I'm not seeing the market properly. I'm not seeing the market the way that, I, that it's going to make me profitable today. And sometimes it's better just to stop trading instead of, instead of trying to work your way in. Cause sometimes we get good ideas. Uh, these not necessarily good ideas, but you know, bright ideas, smart ideas to us at the time where we think we have some sort of angle and realize, Oh crap. We actually, we actually are just wasting away and we're going deeper, deeper, deeper in the hole. So some days, some days you just may not be seeing the market clearly and that's okay. Step away and, and try again tomorrow. There's no shame in that. You know, at least you'll have cash in your account, right? So one thing that I'm thinking of though is even though the market is rallying, um, you know, looking at the highs here on the spy, like 302 area, you know, we had a pretty good rejection here, like three or four times. We are still below, and this is still, you know, what's what's playing, uh, what's what's playing out in my mind is this is still very descending. Even though even though we pushed up higher today, you know, we are we are lower than we were two days ago um, on Monday. Even though even though we did gap up almost to 300 yesterday and we pushed lower, you know, this looks still very des uh, descending to me. And you know, we could re potentially retest 295. Right now, I'm not going to try to fight the market at all and think that I'm right. I'm going to just pretty much get in line and try to ride the ride the back of the market and scalp my way through. Um, because in in in, in the, this day and age with politics, I mean, you can you, you 
fundamentals and I don't know I don't know I guess it's just frustrating to me that like the fundamentals and all that don't really come into play and then today we had Trump say oh that you know he just kind of said it kind of weirdly he just said oh yeah you know a Trump a, a trade deal maybe sooner maybe sooner than you think and like just to throw that out there I we know they're supposed to talk in October but we don't know if there's gonna be a deal we don't know he's been saying that for a year and a half and the stock market rallies every single time I guess it's just frustrating because it's the same game same tricks and we keep falling for it and people like me are like you know I'm just gonna short this and do this and you know we end up paying and that's what happened today you know all this political news this trade war news impeachment it's, it, it, it makes it difficult to trade. Even though the chart today doesn't look like it was that hard. I mean, if you're trading SPY, look fairly, fairly relatively easy. All you got to do is buy calls, right? But the problem with me was I was having all these things in the back of my mind saying, oh, you know, we're still, we're still, we still have a descending pattern here on the one year. You know, this could just be a, this could just be a pump and, and we could just dump like we have been. Um, but I think I think what we just need to do is stay disciplined in cutting losses and stay disciplined in taking profits. Um, I've been relatively good with that the last few months here, and today I let that slide, and that's what that's what happens. You lose over, you lose you lose money when you when you when you take your disciplines. If you, you if you if you lack the discipline, you're not going to make money. You're you're not going to make money. You need discipline. You know you could have. I had really good setups today. I, I, I put those positions on and because of discipline, I lost money. I took those positions off too early. I let my losers run. I didn't take profits quick enough. So even though the chart is telling me one thing, I need to be disciplined in taking profits. And I need to be disciplined in cutting my losses. Um, <clears throat> another one that I'm going to be looking at um, tomorrow, NKE, Nike. So Nike had a nice, had, had blowout earnings you know they they beat expectations top and bottom. Um, however, it was descending. Even though we had strength in the market, it was descending all day today. I didn't put a position on just because I just I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, but the question is tomorrow. I'm gonna looking for a little bit more information. Is this gonna come? Is this gonna break the 90 area and try to try to come back down to 88 or push back higher? We should get some pretty good price on premiums tomorrow. And this has been moving throughout the day. You know, went from 92 all the way down to 90 and then it pushed back up to 91 and a half so you could have made money on both sides so in the market right now you can make money on both sides of the market uh, which is beautiful but to make money on both sides of the market you have to be disciplined in taking your profits so um fedex is another one you know if you one one stock that i can believe in kind of going along right now is fedex and the reason why i say that because i i'm a support and resistance type of guy you know even though we are below support you know, if this can push back up a 150, I would definitely get in line. If not, I will definitely short it back down to low 140s. <laughs> you know, so that's kind of what I'm looking at. FedEx. I, I have been trading it fairly well. Um, the stock makes a lot of sense to me, and um, we have been we have been winning trades on this. And <clears throat> sometimes when you're losing, sorry, I'm a little a little congested, a little sick right now. Sometimes when you're losing. Uh, you and 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 there's some there's certain tickers that you've been trading fairly well. Go back to those tickers and start trading them again because you are in line with what those tickers are doing. You're in line with those stocks are doing. So you know, for me right now, I'm doing. Um, you know, I've been making money on FedEx. I've been making money on Home Depot. Um, I have been making money on Roku, even though I didn't trade it yesterday. I mean, I traded it yesterday. I didn't trade it today. Um, just because it's been kind of consolidating. I'm not sure which way it wants to go. Um, but FedEx is one that I like to play here, even though it is below 150 where, where support was previously. Um, we'll see if it can make a run above 150. You know, you definitely could see 155, 157 area. If it gets rejected around here, I'll definitely short back down to 142, 140 area um, as well. Um, like I said, Home Depot. So the new home sales beat expectations. I think expectations were like 3.5% and it was like 7.1%. You know, they're saying the housing market is heating back up again. The reports are coming back very strong, um, which is good for Home Depot. I did have, I did make a little bit of money in here today. One of the only stocks that I made money on today after it has sold off from 235 around here, like the 223 area, it is starting to make, um, it's starting to make 
higher lows. So we'll see if we can push this back up above 230. If this can push above back above 230, um, it has been having some trouble around like the 230, 231 area, as you can see in here. So we'll see if we can get back up and we'll go mid 230s again. So, you know, right now I, I am I am trading that. The, pre, the options are pretty affordable and the stock has been moving, um, which gives you, which gives you, um, some cheap options that allows you to make some money off the deltas in there as well. Um, MU, so semis were moving. MU has earnings to uh, Thursday night, Thursday after close. And the reason why this is kind of interesting to me is last earnings, they were sitting almost at yearly lows. Um, their, their, their 52 week low is 28.39. Last earnings, they were 32. 72 and since earnings they've just been running you know it's been it's, they've had some you know downside but um relatively i mean they've almost doubled in price they're from 32 hit a high of 51 just a couple of weeks ago and right now at 49 you know possibly looking for a day trade in here if semis are running with very low uh risk to theta because iv is going to be pumping up as you can see iv down here implied volatility is creeping up they have earnings, so it might be a nice day trade on MU tomorrow to try to get back up to like the 50, 50, 51 area. If it can push back up into here, maybe it might pump before earnings. And then also uh, kind of go along with that is NVIDIA. NVIDIA was pumping the day also um, on the trade news as well. So, you know, we probably should have traded this <laughs> instead, but I mean, a lot of these charts, if you're comparing SPY to NVIDIA, they pretty much look the same. Um, so um, one thing that I was looking here is like, you know, see if it can breach like at the 180 area because then it probably will revisit like the 185. But right now to me, this is still, this is still kind of descending. It has to break like the 180, area for me to get kind of bullish back on this. So we'll see if it, if it kind of zig, kind of zigzags between, between um, 172 and 180. I know that's a pretty big range. We could make some money. So if it can't breach up in here, I'm li likely looking to get short. But like I said, with semis, we'll we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens. <laughs> and I know this is a lot of information um, so far, but you know there's a lot of things, a lot of trade ideas going through my head right now. I'm just trying to trying to be precise and give you guys the best content that I can. Um, so. You know, that's that's pretty much what I'm going to be looking at tomorrow. You know, if you're looking at Apple, you know, Apple tomorrow. One thing that I will say, it is getting kind of, it's kind of getting toppy here at like 220, 223. So I'm eyeing that to see if this is going to break out or break down. You know, things are getting pretty tight up in here. And then same with Microsoft. I did, I did trade Microsoft today and I unfortunately, I cut losses and I lost money on it when it would have been a big winner. Um, <laughs> but like I said, this is also to me still looking very descending here after, after like the 141. So we'll see if we'll have a breakout tomorrow. I think tomorrow is very, very important in determining in which direction the market's going to go for the foreseeable like week or two, because if the market goes down a lot, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these one year charts are going to have confirmation for the downside. So we'll see what happens. If you guys watch this video to the end, let me know who you are. Comment below. Definitely appreciate and I definitely love responding to all your comments. If this video was of value to you, hit the like button. It really helps me out. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.